1.5 example too is a, a, I find interesting application of, of an infinite geometric series. Um, there's certainly a, a couple other ones. Um, one good one that you might want to Google is Archimedes' uh, hare and tortoise race. It's got an interesting concept and it's about infinite, infinite geometric series. Um, so back to this, it tells us that um, we have some kind of a large share, large square, sorry, um, and it's we are going to shade in one quarter of the area. So that's this blue section right here. This is going to be one quarter. Um, but then what's going to happen is of the remaining quarters, we're going to shade in a quarter of those. So if I shade in a quarter of a quarter, it means that I've shaded in one sixteenth of the original square. And if I shade in a quarter of a sixteenth, I've now shaded in one sixty-fourth. Um, and I know that it's really tough to write that, but that would be one two hundred fifty-sixth. And then I don't know if I can quite sneak this in, but this would be one one thousand twenty-fourth which is hard to say and even harder to write in the top corner of the smart board there. Now, the, the reason I'm getting at that is this is why it's an infinite geometric series, is that if we look at how much of this square has been shaded in. Now, because we're going to want to talk about how much of the total area, we're going to do something that makes this question a lot easier. And instead of making the total area, you know, 40 or 50 or something like that, I am going to say that the total area, and I'll put a unit on there even though we don't need it, is one square meter. Right, so that's the region of the square. Now, what that does mean is it makes it a little bit easier to talk about how much we're shading in. So initially, I shaded in one quarter of a square meter. Then I shaded in an additional 16th of a square meter. Then an additional 64th, a 256th, a 1024th, and then, even though we don't really have the ability to do it on the smart board, we would keep going. Now, at some point, you're going to need, you know, a, a needle to shade in that small of a section, um, and that's fine. Um, it is the concept that if we kept going forever, how much of the total area of the largest square is actually shaded? Now, right away, I, I hope that most of you identify what the common ratio is. If you haven't, that's fine. We can figure it out. I'm going to say that the common ratio could be 1 16th divided by 1 4th, or it could be 1 64th divided by 1 16th or it could be 1 256th divided by 1 64th. And I really would do want to reiterate that I am finding R by taking any term and dividing it by the term before it. That's it. Um, now, in all of these cases, I get that the common ratio is equal to 1 4th because we are continually shading in 1 4th as much as we did you know, the previous step or the previous shading that we've done. Now, the common ratio is 1 4th. I'd like to write again that that means that the series does converge. And because the series converges, and this is the logic that we're trying to push in this chapter, if the series converges, I'll throw an S on there, we can say that the sum, if we let it go to infinite terms, is going to be the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. Now, because we have set this up with nice fractions, that infinite sum is going to be the, the area that we've shaded in square meters. If we want to do it as a percentage, uh, I'll show that at the end, and we will do it as a percentage. I don't know why I said if. So we are going to say that the infinite sum that we have shaded is one quarter divided by one minus one quarter. Now, some students get a little bit thrown off that the, you know, the R and T1 can be the same. That is just a coincidence. R and T1, other than you know the absolute value of R having to be less than one, um, don't have any locked in value they need to be. So if term one and R are the same, so be it. That's just a coincidence. Don't stress it. Just move on with the question. So I'm going to get that the infinite sum is one quarter over. Now, one minus one quarter is three quarters. And one fourth divided by three fourths is one over four times four over three. The fours would cancel. And I get one third. Now, I did mention we put a unit on there. So that's one third of a square meter. If the total area is one, and we shaded in one third of a square meter, then what has happened is that we have shaded 33.33, and that would go on forever. We're gonna stop at the hundredth percent of our total area. And you do get some interesting answers like this. I mean, who would have thought that by shading in a quarter and then a quarter and a quarter, we would get 33.33%. There seems to be a little bit of a disconnect there, um, but it's one of those interesting things that if you know you shaded in half every time, you would find another different fraction. You do run into a lot of fractions with this type of work. Um, if nothing else, that is going to hone your skills at multiplying and dividing fractions, which is definitely required for this dash one stream. 
Okay, so that's 1.5, not too bad, just a, a kind of a new formula to work with. Um, the 1.5 assignment and the review are up here. Please make sure you're checking Google Classroom for any sort of modification that you know we very likely have made.